in him. We chased him. My bro got locked for two cases. All right, we here to talk about top five real quick. What's up? What's happening? Big K in the building. K eat too good. He sleep with a cutter. El Patron, you know the big dog. Ah, ah. He want to tell me to talk. We here to talk. We here to talk. We here to talk about top five, top five, top five. Yeah, man. He's been freed. You know, academics was doing the... Why going crowdy nigga was doing a jig. He was happy this nigga was free. You know, but Top 5 has revealed that Drake has paid for his legal fees after beating his Moida case. And we had to talk about it. If you don't know, I believe it was during pandemic as well. Top 5, they get locked up for uh, allegedly being involved in the murder of, I believe he was a teenager or a young adult. He might have been 21 and shit. We gonna get the proper shits from the article regardless. But basically got locked up for that. We didn't really know what was going on. He dropped a project while he was locked up. I, I remember he had G Herb on one of them songs. Doing his thing, whatever have you. And he got freed from it. Now, again, I didn't know how the fuck that shit was going to go. Because, again, it was just some shit. I was just like, nigga, I don't know what's going on with this shit, bro. It's perplexing. I'm confused. But, hey, we have him out, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, the GGG demon. You know what I'm saying? He's out. He's back in the free road. He's trying to smash females, you know? Regular nigga shit. So he's back, he's back, and he's talking to shit, and apparently, Aubrey, you know, he fucks with him, he fucks with the GGs, and, you know, that's crazy, anyway, sorry, <laughs> and, like, he rocks with his gang, and basically, he paid for his legal fees, that's basically what happened, but let's talk about it, and hey, listen, regardless if you like him or not, you know what it is about Top 5, and I see it more and more, not to say that, and I'm not trying to diss him when I say this, antics antic wise like the antics he does and how he goes back and forth with like his ops or whatever on social media or whatever he kind of reminds me of six nine in his peak when you know he was running around with treyway now of course i'm not insinuating that he is you know telling on people or whatever have you i'm just saying antics wise yeah he reminds me of six nine a bit i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie but anyways let's read this shit so Top five is officially a free man. By the way, the fuck he, the fact he still had his clout while being in jail, you gotta give it to him. Regardless, anyways. So top five, the Toronto rapper previously co-signed by Drake is officially a free man after the Moida case against them fell apart in court on Monday. Authorities originally arrested him back in 2021 for allegedly for an alleged involvement in the murder of a 20-year-old accounting student. At the time, by the way, hey, that motherfucker could have been an accounting student. I don't know that nigga, but hey, we don't know what he was doing, bro. Anyways, at the last hearing, the judge in the case dismissed social media evidence on the basis of it being in inadmissible. Sorry, according to the Toronto uh, Star Superior Court Justice of oh, Andreas Shrek. Bro, some of y'all motherfuckers got some names, bro. I don't know why you go into the legal system. Y'all got some names that is difficult as hell to pronounce. You over here looking at me to get this shit exactly right, bro. What the fuck y'all niggas on? But anyways, bro, in his decision that it portrays Mr. Ali as a violent gang member with little regard for human life and who revels in the senseless killing of others. The risk that a jury will misuse this evidence and convict Mr. Ali because of his disposition is significant. So, speaking about the topic afterward, Top 5's lawyer, Gary Gr uh, Grill, a simple name to pronounce, explained that the legal prejudice against rap artists, the problem about a prosecuting artists like Mr. Ali, Top 5, based on their music, it fails to understand what the uh, medium is, what, what it's about, and how drillers appro approach their audience, okay? <laughs> Audiences. Gr uh, Grill said, according to CTV News, it's important for all drillers to portray themselves as the biggest, baddest gangsters on the planet. That's what sells. That's what all drillers are doing. The way that Mr. Ali, to be fair, that is what says. If you do want a prominent career or you do want a lot of people to talk about you, you want all the likes to follow those people to pay attention. It's just, that's fucking true. We see it with King Von. We've seen it with Lil Jeff. We've seen it with these niggas. But anyways, um, where is that? It's what sells. It's what, yeah. The way that Mr. Ali was charged in the first place was a result of his lyrics. It was a result of the videos that he was putting out there as a result of his medium as a drill rap artist that attracted the attention with the police. After leaving the courthouse, Top 5 shared a picture of himself on Instagram that revealed that Drake actually covered 
his legal fee shortly after the post began circulating online. He removed that note from the caption. Check out the original version as caught by DJ Academics below. He says, shout out Champagne Poppy for the lawyer fees and Gary Grill for being the best lawyer in Toronto. Hey. It is what it is. Now, this was, I believe it was like a, a charge with a first degree murder when it first came out. Hey, at the end of the day, listen. You were proven innocent. Top five, you're back in the free road. Hey, the fans been waiting for you. Feed them with the music. Stay out of trouble and keep doing your thing, my nigga. Hey, get out of, be rich. Get out of the situation you in and hey, help your family and your friends. Get out of their situations at the end of the day. Like if we gonna go back and forth to see what he did to that person is what it is. At the end of the day, if they were using lyrics, it is admissible. Listen, we can't just pick and choose what artists we can let the court use lyrics for and which artists they can't use lyrics for. At some point, we gotta keep it a buck. At some point, so if we gonna use lyrics, let's just say if they did use lyrics in this top five situation, every artist gotta get it, or we're just not gonna use it at all. Like again, if they just didn't really have the proof, it is what it is. Again, I don't know. I wasn't there. I don't know what happened. But, hey, it was in court that proving my nigga is free. He beat the case. He was free. So, at this point, my nigga, it is what it is. Who really knows? Who really knows? Only the, the person, two, uh, people that were there. And sadly, that individual, they passed away. Like I said, my condolences to the family. It's hard to lose a child. It's hard to lose a son. I don't wish that on anybody to lose somebody they love, but it does happen in this world. Again, I don't know what he was into. He could have just been a regular dude going out for whatever reason and he got caught up. He could have had some issues with people. We don't really know. We wasn't there, but hey, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Top five is free. Apparently, Drake helped with his legal fees, which... I mean, we can have another conversation about that because I believe Top 5 went after the weekend, didn't he? So, again, that's another conversation we might be able to have. But, yeah, we'll see exactly what happens. But, yeah, is y'all fans of Top 5? Is y'all waiting to hear some new music? What's y'all favorite songs by him? It was it We Seen Him. We Chased Him. My bro got locked for two cases. Was it that? Like, what songs y'all fuck with? Anyways, comments down below. Links in the description. Besides that, friendly neighborhood cat A sign out for today. You already know what it is. Slams on P Shots, guy. I.